In this video, we will see how PSO algorithm can be used to select best features from a data set. Random population of particles is initialized and target function is defined. Let's say we want all particles to converge around this star. Each particle look for the best optimum solution. In each iteration, solution is evaluated according to some fitness function that can be accuracy correlation in case of machine learning model. And according to that position, velocity, inertia, and current position is adjusted until best solution is found. Here is the quick overview of PSO algorithm. The equation to update particles current position is that the next position can be found by adding up current position into the velocity. And the velocity is updated by this equation in which we have current velocity multiplied with some weight or inertia. Here is the random factor. Here is the current best position according to the current position. And here is the global best position according to the current position where X best is the best particle position and G best is the global or the group best position. Here the parameters or hyperparameters are inertia, two positive constants and the two random parameters within range of zero and one. In step one, we initialize a random population. In step two, we evaluate the fitness. In step three, we update velocity and position according to the results of our fitness function. And we evaluate fitness again and update the iteration until we found the global best solution. Now we have this data set for the, cl uh, for the classification that flood will occur or flood will not occur. Here we have 10 features and we want to select a subset of best features that are best related to our class label. So we will use PSO search method to find uh, a subset of best features related to this task. We will use Weka, that is a GUI based machine learning uh, tool. We will go to the explorer and open our file. Here we are uh, having our 10 features. We will go to uh, select attribute tab and the search method will be PSO search method. Now we are seeing that attribute evaluator is CFS subset evaluator. Here CFS subset evaluator is working as a fitness function. What CFS subset evaluator will do, it will find a subset of features from 10 features that are best correlated to our class label and they have minimum correlation among them. As we know, if independent features are having a multicollinearity issue, our machine learning model performance is not that much acceptable. So the goal is to find a subset of features that are best correlated to the flood variable, but they have minimum correlation and redundancy among them. So uh, here we have CFS subset evaluator and that is our uh, fitness function and PSO search method will be used to search a subset of features. We will start here and the output is shown here. Here we are having 10 attributes. The search method is PSO search method. The number of iterations are 20. The random population is 20. The inertia weight initialized with 0.3, the social weight and the individual weight is initialized here. Now for the first 20 iterations, we are having merit, scale and the subset. The merit is basically our uh, fitness value. For example, for the first iteration of uh, our PSO search method, we are having merit or the fitness value is 0.3. And the subset we get is 4, 6, 7, 9 features. These are the indexes of the features or the columns we are having in our data set. The scaled value is the normalized value of merit in the range of 0 to 1. If it is 0, it means this feature is not related at all. And if it is 1, that means that feature is highly important. So we are having for first 20 iterations, merit, scaled, and subset value. For the next 20 iterations, 
we see that the merit value or the fitness function values are increasing and the scale values are increasing as well and the subset we received is one two three four eight here so the final output of pso search method for feature selection is one two three four eight nine and these are the features that it selected now to compare this with some other method I have implemented this in Python. I have used extra tree classifier for selecting best features. So here we can see that the feature importances are shown in the graph where discharge, air maximum and minimum, dew points, evaporations and wind movements are more uh, important than relative humidity. And if we see in wake up, we are having these features as well that got selected. The relative humidity is excluded here as well. So that's how we can use PSO search method to select some best features using VECA. We can implement it using Python as well.